In this video, we're going to make a simple Streamlit contact form. We're going to use Python for that and we're going to use the package Streamlit. We're also going to use form submit. It's a free service to submit forms. So when we finish our form and we click on send, it will mail us the form to our email address. The website is formsubmit.co and we're going to copy and paste this form and we're going to write it into our editor. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it contact form. I'm going to create a new file contact.py and we're going to import streamlit. Import streamlit as st. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a heading and we're going to do that by st.markdown. Now we're going to write some HTML. We're going to align the text to the center. And we're going to create a border radius of 10. Color is going to be black. Font size is going to be 24, 24 pixels. And the title is going to be simple streamlit contact form. Now we're going to close the first heading. And now we have to write yet unsafe allow HTML to be true. All right. So now we're going to copy and paste our contact form. Um, I'm going to create a variable to write some HTML code in and inside here we're going to paste our HTML code. So we can go to the website formsubmit.co and we can copy and paste this form here. And we're going to paste it into our editor. And the only thing what we have to do here is to add yet uh, a message, a text area. So we're going to say just above the button, we're going to say text area. Name is going to be message. And we're going to create a placeholder. So write your message. Now we're going to close the text area. And maybe here we can write also placeholders. So placeholder equals to your name. Here is going to be your email. Okay, now now we need to tell Streamlit to read it. So we're going to say st.markdown. We're going to pass in the variable contact form. And we're going to say again unsafe allow HTML to be true. And the next thing we're going to do now is to create a CSS file to design the contact form a little bit to make it a little bit more attractive. I uh, forgot to put a comma here. And now 
it should work. I'm going to save it. See, our form doesn't look very attractive. So we're going to create a CSS file to make it a little bit more nice. I'm going to go back to the editor. And we're going to create a new file and it's going to call main. I'm going to call it main.css. We don't really need to do much here, just input type text and maybe also type email in text area. Padding is going to be 12 by 20. Margin, let's say 10. And we're going to display an inline block. Border is going to be one border, one solid, and color is going to be gray. And now we need the add CSS for our button. Button, and that's going to be background color green. And I have no border. Color of the font will be white. And padding is going to be 15 by 30. And we're going to align the text to center. And font size will be 16 with 50. Okay, now our CSS file is ready. Now we need to create yet an action in a function in Python to call for this file. So we're going to save it and I'm going to return to the contact form. And now I'm going to create a function. It's going to be main CSS and we need the file name and I'm going to say with open file name as f st markdown f Style. This is going to read uh, the CSS file style read style and now we need again the unsafe allow HTML to be true. And we're going to run the function and main CSS. And we need to call for the file main.css. And now I'm going to save it and it should work if I didn't make any mistakes. Just 
So I'm gonna reload the file. Oh, I forgot to add the class is button. And now we're going to check if it works. Now it works. And now the only thing we have to do yet is to change our email address here. And then we're going to receive anytime somebody submits this form, we're going to receive it in our email in our mailbox. So that's how to make a simple form in Streamlit 